going inside a museum, I would like to show you, which is something probably unique in the world, something that is uh, very characteristic, the pavement of this street. Look at this. Mm. It is wood, certainly. Wow. It is a street that was paved in wood. Second question. Why? Huh? Why do you think? What do you say? No, we don't mind about tourists here in Cuba. Tourists cannot ask for anything in Cuba. No, it's just a joke. It was during colonial times. The building opened in 1791. Means of transportation in old times were the horses and baggies. They used to pay with cable stones. Early 1800s, that didn't exist. Just cable stones. The big wheels of the baggies, the horses' hooves and horses' shoes, very noisy. So governors, and they could set the rules. They just said, okay, we want to have something quieter. And they decided to pave in wood. This is a Cuban wood. Not expensive, easy to find in Cuba, very hard. Any of these pieces of wood on the, on the pavement will last for 100 years. So they cut it to the size of a brick or a cobble stone, and they put it on sand like the cobble stones. Was at one time all around the building like this, absolutely noiseless, okay? So they just preserved this uh, uh, street on the front of the palace for you to, to see and to take the pictures. Inside, look at a beautiful patio. Probably the most beautiful of the Spanish patios you're going to find in Cuba. I was telling you this morning that it's one of the buildings that just when you step inside, it will be like going back in time or being on the set of the film. The purpose of the museum is recreating the atmosphere of the uh, late 1700s, early 1800s, with all the furnishes, all the chinas, everything. Since uh, 1791, the place opened up to 1899, was housing the Spanish governor's residence, 65 of the Spanish governors that ruled the country in between 1791 up to 1899 were living at this place upstairs. We we'll see the rooms upstairs over there. It was the same building housing the Americans' military government from 1899 till 1902, and the building was as well housing the civic government from 1902 up to 1920, and the new palace opened. The first building that I was showing you on arrival where the planes and the tanks mm -hmm. was from 1920 up to 1959, the uh, president's residence. The building was housing as well, the town hall. There was a, a lateral entrance for the town hall offices that were upstairs. Governors were living upstairs with their family. They got the government offices. There is an intermediate floor, you will see as you go inside, where the servants used to live. And the ground floor was useful as a kind of parking for the baggies. You will see some of the baggies from old times and uh, was a kind of warehouse. Very historical location. When you go inside, you, feel, you will see on the uh, left side the archaeological findings that happened in here before opening as a museum. Because at this same location used to be the first of the Havana churches that opened in 1550. So you will see all the archaeological findings in there. So we're going to go inside in here. We got half an hour. You can go around the ground floor first, then you can go upstairs, you can take a look inside. You can take pictures without extra uh, charges. From the main entrance, the first room that they show on the uh, right side, if you want to keep taking pictures during your visit, they will request you to buy a ticket, okay? Follow me. Take a picture, sir. Thank you. What a big porch. This is pretty much what you can enjoy, just around the building, this kind of atmosphere. Just the fences were made with the Cuban woods, mahogany, and like the big doors. Even the marble floors were imported from Italy, the chandeliers, all the decorations were imported from Europe. Italy, Spain, France, Germany, okay. The monument of the patio chose Christopher Columbus. And of course, intended to show the typical Cuban tree, 
the royal palm. That's the kind of tree I was showing from the bus. Look at how high it could be. That's the natural Cuban tree, the royal palm, the highest of the Cuban trees. Yeah. No, 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 is that, is that the original color, the trunk? That, that kind of cement color, the gray color, is the original color. And when you see, when you look at the trunk, you can find rings around the trunk. That means every ring that the tree is one year old. Because every year, one of the leaves will just fall down. And that, that, that's the track of the leaves, just dying. So please come in. We got half an hour in the room. Walk around the ground floor, walk upstairs. And in half an hour, we're going to meet here, OK? Toilets at the end of the left, on the corner. In half an hour, we're going to meet here. People collect to enjoy the cars from the early 20th century. Like the Rolls Royce, Packard, LaSalle, all them uh, Babel Lincoln, 14. Along this block, some places open for the first time at the city. Where you see here on your back, where the green balcony opened the first of the Moorish architecture. It's a public elementary school. Nowadays, a place directly cared by the Arab community at Havana. They have the mosque upstairs for their religious practices. Where the blue facade on the left over there used to be the city's pawn shop. And next door, where the first of the butcheries, still nowadays the butchers are the old city. So we're gonna walk up to the end, and you can see over there, that big wall, that's part of the old Francis County's convent, just around the other square, the Francis County's square. That's where the harbor, the customs, okay? Still nowadays, we keep the docking facilities for cruise ships. Whenever cruise ships will come to Havana, they can get docking facilities in there. That's why they call it Terminal Sierra Maestra, San Francisco. San Francisco, that's the name of the square. The Francis County. It's just people that come in 1772. At the end, as it was always very busy here, very noisy place, they decided to build a new church. That is the one I showed you at the last. The cathedral. They put from here, a little bit far from the harbor, a little bit more inland, like about a kilometer from here. They built the new city's cathedral, 1776. The beautiful thing, when you look around this square, starting from left to right, starting from the convent, and the very colorful buildings in front of the convent with the wooden balconies, that's the kind of architecture of the 18th century, 1700s. You see next, all these buildings from the uh, 19th century with the presence of iron on the balconies, on the windows protections. And at the end, the beautiful example of the 20th century architecture, this kind of big mixture of architecture and styles. It used to be a very important building at the city. It was the city's stock market in old times when it opened, 1919. Okay, nowadays there are just government offices after the restoration in there. A beautiful building, look at this corner. That's one of the facilities we stay also at the old city. They call it Hostas, the San Felipe and Tejuca family. There was one on the way coming in here. You can see another one. Some of these beautiful Korean buildings have to restore it. They're going to open it to rent rooms, like a little hotel. They call it Hostel. But it's going to be just a little hotel, about 10, 15 rooms, not bigger. With a nice patio, nice balconies, beautiful rocking chairs. The ambientation of the rooms, they make it with replicas, trains from all times. How much are you going to pay for a room here in Havana? About 100 pesos. A double standard room, bed and breakfast. Okay, double standard room. Around the most expensive place, that's the National Hotel, I will show you. All the rest of the hotels here, around. 100 pesos per night, get a breakfast.
not all inclusive hotels like El Baradero and Havana. Not all inclusive hotels. So, this way, please. 